Life happens in bad lighting. Your kid's soccer game is going to be in full sunshine and they're going to have squinty eyes and weird shadows. Same thing for the pony at the birthday party, all of it in bad lighting. So today I'm going to give you three tips for getting good photos in bad lighting. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Kayla Brent. I'm a motherhood photographer and founder of Mom Photography School, where I teach moms to take gorgeous photos of their children every single day. And one of the most difficult or most challenging things that moms tend to face is getting good lighting. Like it's the number one key to getting a good photo. So much so, we dedicate a whole month in mom photography school talking about lighting. It is that important. In the comments below, let me know some of your biggest lighting struggles. I would love to hear them and help if I can. Comment below. I don't want you to ever think, oh, whatever's happening that you're wanting to get the picture of, whether it be a soccer game, birthday party, whatever it is, that you don't get the photo just because it's in bad lighting. And absolutely not. Get the photo. However, you need to make sure to grab a photo in good lighting as well, which leads me to tip number two. Take your kids to the shade for a good photo. So we want a photo of our kids smiling, something that would be really great to post on social media, maybe even something to add to our annual album like we make in mom photography school. So you've taken the photos of them in action, the candid shots. Now make sure that you get a photo of them in the shade. Find shade. There will be shade somewhere. It can be a building casting the shade or it can be a tree. However, with the tree, be careful. Sometimes they cast, cast partial shade and it will leave like light spots on their face. Try to avoid that if possible. Usually you can just kind of have them move around in the shade until you find a good place for them. Also, this is great for group photos. If you're at a t-ball game or a soccer game, get all the kids together, put them in the shade and get the photo. If you need help on taking better group photos, make sure you check out my YouTube video all about that. Now that we've given ourselves permission to get the photo in bad lighting, because we know we're gonna get a photo in good lighting, which is in the shade, I have another tip for you, tip number three, it's to shoot towards the light. And here's what I mean. While you're in the shade, you want to have the light behind the people that you're photographing. And here's an example. Most of the time, when moms or anybody puts people in the shade, they put whatever is casting the shade behind them. So they'll have the building behind the subject or what they'll have the tree trunk behind the subject. I want you to put your subject beside whatever's casting the shade. That way, what's behind them is light because it's a bright sunny day and we are having to go in the shade. So I know there's light somewhere. So you are putting them in the shade, except you're not putting what's casting the shade behind them. You are putting what's casting the shade beside them so that there is light behind them. There's no squinty eyes, there's no weird shadows, and you have gorgeous light going on in the background. So not only do you have the candid photos, but you have really, really good photos that are of your kids smiling at the camera, and you have gorgeous light in the background. The best of both worlds. If you're ready to take your mom photography journey to the next level, I have a free training for you. Three tips to get your kids to smile at the camera. I will link that below. Make sure you go grab your spot. So there you have it. My three tips for getting good photos in bad lighting. First, just get the photos in the bad light, then go get some photos in the shade with gorgeous light behind you. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video.